Well, I just acquired this project. It's a Alice Chalmers 5015. Nineteen eighty four. So the story with this is uh, a friend of a friend got this uh, from some property. They got it running. The guy used it. The guy used it to mow, do some other stuff. So the guy was having issues with it, and he went out and bought a brand new Kubota compact tractor. So the issues are fuel was leaking and it doesn't have a third gear. So I just decided to take the whole filter assembly off just to give it a good cleaning. Clean out the bleeder screws too. But mainly this is the problem. That crack right there. But it's definitely leaking. So I mixed up some of this fiberglass resin. The fuel shutoff lever has broken off so it cannot engage into that divot where it would normally be like that and be able to turn. Now they're not connected. Okay, the fuel bowl is repaired. It's not leaking. All that that you can see was just me bleeding it. Um, new fuel filter. I cut the fuel line at that end, cut off the frayed stuff. Um, I cut off that stuff. And as with any project where someone else has worked on it, there's electrical to be done. You can see the problem right there immediately. That wire has two, two strands hold, holding it on. Now none. So I'm just gonna put a new connection here. Even though it needs thick, I'm gonna get some thicker wire cause this is too thin. And then redo that. Got some more tape on there, new wire, actual ring terminal. That butt connection's not gonna go bad. New connection here. Now we're ready to return to bleeding the fuel system. I got the three injector lines broken loose with a 17 millimeter. I have this bleeder screw broken loose too. Unfortunately, I can't do this with one hand. So it's a couple days later, and as you can tell by the diesel all over the hood, my dad got some more diesel, and I put it in. And it turns out my problem... So I was looking at the... fuel lines as I was bleeding them and I don't know I just it, the, the the viscosity looked different than diesel so I tasted it tasted like water so I actually ended up taking off the fuel lines and running it just without the fuel lines on or spinning it over and I think I got all the diesel I mean all the water out and I'm not gonna lie I did already start it but here's what it sounds like Right now, I'm trying to take the 
shifter cover off so that I can inspect inside the engine. And I'm trying, and so to do that, you need to remove this piece. And to do that, you have to unbolt the fenders so that it can slide backwards. So that's what I'm working on. It's just eight bolts. One of them's longer, and it goes here. And unfortunately, I found my problem. Right there, there should be teeth on that gear, similar to this one, because that's how the shifter uh, connects the two gears. Right now, it's in neutral. So, if I press on the clutch, gear should spin, which they do. The clutch works good. So, As you saw, I got the fender off, and here's the damage that needs repaired. And this tab has to be welded back on too. So my idea is just take this flat bar, put it right there, weld it on in a couple spots, cut a few holes, and I'm gonna use my new plasma cutter. Thank you to uh, thank you to the person who got that for me. Get to test it out now.
All right, I got that all buttoned up. Here is all painted up. Got two coats. So you can see there's my little repair job. Flat bar and I cut holes out. So I got the service manual and this is just a reproduction where they just photocopy it, uh, which is kind of annoying. So here's a powertrain counter shaft removal. So you can see that's the gear I need. Third gear assembly. And those are the synchronizers. And that's the shaft that it needs to come off of. I twisted the muffler up straight up and I took off the angled piece, added this piece of two inch and put a rain cap on it. So now I want to paint this. There's the stack on, all painted up, looking good. So I was just cleaning up the fenders and I've been scraping off the chipped paint. And now I'm gonna try and fix these cracks. So I got the welder out and it's supposed to rain in like 10 minutes. So I have to hurry. I got the welds ground down, this one fixed, and this uh, face shield is really nice. I haven't used it for plasma cutting yet, it just came yesterday. Thank you Carolyn for this. Um, it doesn't fog up at all when you're wearing it. It's really comfortable, not too big, not too heavy. It keeps everything out of your face when you're grinding. It's like all this stuff that normally you'd have to put on the safety squints. So it's a couple weeks later, finally back on the Alice Chalmers. We got 
more of this John Deere stuff painted. The rest, all we can do now is just put it on the tractor. Hopefully we'll do that soon, but uh, yeah, let's start taking this apart. As you saw, I did a lot of work and a little crack. So let's just see what happens. Well, it's split apart now. Just needed a little bit of pry bar action. It looks like it's okay to pry on these surfaces. There's no fluids held in here, so no gaskets. And it looks like we got a seal there, which looks good. No leaks. And eight, nine bolts covering these bearings. Eight or nine bolts covering these bearings. But only thing is, I think the other side of this shaft is held on with a snap ring. I have to.
All right, the counter shaft is in. There's the old one. And we did it without splitting the cases here and without removing the transmission from the rear axle. There's just enough space there to slide the bearing on the end of the counter shaft, but it takes a while to do. It is not easy, but it's possible. On the back here, you need a washer. On the back, you need this washer, which is flat. Flat washer, and then the bearing goes on with the clip on the outside. And then one smaller washer. And snap ring. Make sure the snap ring is seated in. Now this side. Be extremely careful not to drop those. Washer. Extremely careful not to drop them. I'm gonna be extra, extra careful. Now, snap ring. And make sure the <clears throat> snap ring is on. And now the counter shaft is in. Now I just have to get this last gear. This gear. Gotta get that snap ring to seat. Now the input shaft. Make sure everything is clean. I guess you just have to spin it back and forth a bunch until it goes in. There it is with the sealant. Don't fold the seal there. I got it fine.
I'm gonna use some Loctite 515 to hold the gasket in place. All right, perfect. Now for the gasket. I just got new O-ring in the mail. I got an assortment, but this one fits. And I got a new hose. So that fits. As you saw, we got the fenders on and seat and everything. All that's left now is these brackets and the lights. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with those. And I also need new U-bolts for the three-point because these have, the threads are just completely shot. So I got these new lights in the mail, three inch LED lights, nine bucks on Amazon. And uh, they're gonna fit perfectly in there just have to do the wiring and i don't even think i'm gonna have to drill holes and i'm trying to keep it so that i can just reinstall these if i find new bulbs which if anyone knows where to get these type of bulbs from please let me know all right i got this light in uh it's pretty easy it just goes straight into the other holes 
got the light. You just take a lock washer or a normal washer, put it behind there, then screw in here. Then take your light, face it the right way, obviously. Slightly down, maybe. Then plug it in. Now we can test it. Key on. Both lights are on. Oh. Well, that kind of looks dumb, but uh, I guess it's fine. Kind of a temporary fix. Until I find these bulbs, I really want to get those bulbs in LED. And then they'll just look original, but have good brightness. So we're just kind of screwing around here. And we got this one. We've been out here for a little while. A couple diesel fumes, but good thing we're not in California, otherwise that'd be harmful to us. Uh, I was trying to bring the drag through here to smooth this out, and uh, it got a little bit too low. I just finished washing up the Alice Chalmers. Um, everything is fixed on this tractor now, and it's all been serviced up. So, uh, I decided for now the hood is fine. No need to paint anything. Um, it's all fixed up, so on to the next project. Got this thing looking good. <laughs> 